The story behind the whole story is one of a kind. The book was started by a wonderful, wonderful English and Irish writer called Siobhan Dowd, who wrote these magnificent books for teenagers. She wrote four of them. A Monster Calls was going to be her fifth book, and she had sort of an opening, she had an idea for structure, she had a few characters, and unfortunately she then passed. So the book just was left unstarted. And I looked at her materials that she had, and I started getting ideas. It did that magic thing that you always want, which is that it started to suggest other ideas. And I immediately started thinking, I could do this, and this has real heart to it, and this has real passion and pain to it. And I thought, I have to try. The book has such a powerful story that I felt like I could try and make it work as a screenplay. Come on. So I worked on the script for a while, then met Bayona, and Bayona had a great idea. He thought, well, you know, maybe Connor draws, maybe that's how you see his emotional state. It was such a good idea because it allowed us to link to the illustrations in the book by an artist called Jim Kay, and how Connor is seeing this monster and the things that he's drawing that he doesn't want to share. It is not important what you think. It is only important what you do. And this is what we do as filmmakers. We, we try to explain reality through stories. And this movie is about stories, it's about love, it's about legacy, and it's about art. Whoa. Whoa, indeed. The film is as rich and as imaginative as the book is. I think audiences will connect with the emotion in a very, very big way.